what is up guys and welcome back to some more sounds of her love let's continue with beautiful beautiful waifu carry all right load it up oh yeah she was talking uh oh yeah we had just returned the car to her so she was telling us that it was maybe i don't remember the voices i did i apologize for that but um yeah. Maybe put it in a safer place. You wouldn't risk losing it again then. I know I don't have the right to tell her what to do with her stuff, but things like this are common sense. I use it a lot. It's easier for me to reach it quickly. I guess she's an avid book fan. She must be quite smart. That or she just likes books. I decide to continue the conversation. What sort of books are you interested in? I guess everyone needs hobby. I'm gonna ask her what kind of book she's interested in. What's common sense question? What sort of books are you interested in? Fiction or nonfiction? I read a variety. Well, that was a short answer. <laughs> that really. I... Was want to study literature. Hmm. She looks at me as if she expected me to belittle her. So I completely deny her ex expectations. Sounds great. Sounds... It's good to have something you're passionate about. Her lips move. I guess she can't stop herself from smiling. Moving my feet again, I set off towards the entrance of the school. Turning around to face Carrie before I make an uh, sufficient progress. It's still early, but we should still go to class. It's a bit cold, after all. You're right. I need to check what class I'm in. Hmm? He doesn't know what class she's in? I started a week ago. Don't tell me she has amnesia. Harry shyly passed me and headed towards the school, and I followed suit heading towards my class. I guess she was a pretty uh, interesting person. That Gary and her amnesia. <laughs> Just plain. Classes are well underway, and the class is filled with a widespread sense of lethargy. It is a Monday after all, and lunch is just around the corner. Does anyone want to, Is there anyone really want to learn the structure of the inner... <laughs> Met, what does that say? Metochinadural membrane. I butchered that word for sure. Um, right before lunch, I leaned back in my chair and stared down at my notes, which are just... A little more than scribbles on a sparge page. In the end, I can't really say I expected anything different when transferring here. After all, the basic principle of teaching are the same wherever you are. There's no reason as to why this school would be any different, though the extra language lessons are a pain in the ass. Just as I let out a small, but definitely noticeable yawn, the teacher glared sharply in my direction. Bored are you? Bored. I don't know if it's a female or a dude. It's just teacher, but they don't show it, so I'm gonna make it into a dude, and if it's a female, I am sorry. Bored are you, RX? Oh, it's a dude. No, sir. Oh. Well, that's a surprise. How about you answer the question at the bottom of the page three there? I look at the closed book on my desk and realize what the teacher is referring to. I definitely haven't done a good job at pretending to work. Still, I obliged and turned to page 3. Moving my eyes towards the bottom of the page, I find a question that's somewhat relevant to what I managed to hear during the lesson. What is the space between the two mitochondrial, 
mitochondrial membranes. I think that's how you say it, right? Called. It is a matrix. No, that's a bit inside. Well, boy. Well, boy. Do you... <laughs> no, I don't want to save it. No, I, I, I right-clicked and it did that. Uh, do, you, do you have an answer? What? They're, they're really asking me? Uh, mitochondrial gap or the membrane, inner membrane space. I don't know this. I can refuse to answer and be like, I don't want to answer this question. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. It's embarrassing. The whole class is staring at me, hoping I answer right or wrong. And I'm probably going to get it wrong. So, uh, I can't. <laughs> Jesus. Now, I think I'm going to go and um, uh, I'm going to refuse to answer it. I honestly don't know this, but uh, this is the fun about these type of visual novels that give you choices. Like, what's going to happen if I choose this, if I choose that? So I'm just going to refuse to answer. No, I don't, sir. My thoughts are about through my mouth <laughs> as I've uh, vocalized my distaste of the lesson. That's your answer, Rx. I'm sure the headmaster would like to hear it. Well, be amazed. He'll be amazed by your outstanding inte intellect. The class fell silence, and I am ushered out of the room. The teacher takes me to the headmaster's office, and I can't help but feel that my classmates owe me a big time. I've done them a favor. They get... They get to screw around whilst the teacher's gone. Knocking on the door, I get a sharp glare from the man beside me. All I did was refuse to answer his question, though his gaze makes it like, look like I murdered one of his relatives. The door swings open and rotund. Bradley, headmaster stands before us. My teacher briefly explains the situation to him. Mr. Higgs. Hughes. I don't know how to... Higgs? Hughes? Hughes? I don't know. I don't, I'm probably butchering that last name as well. And once again, I apologize. I'm going to be butchering a lot of these words and a lot of these names. So yeah, sorry. Don't you know the saying, boys will be boys. But... Literally, he no buts. Let the boy go, for goodness' sake. No buts. You sure seem like an ass man to me. <laughs> With the way he looked at some of the female staff. Oh God! Whoa, whoa! Why is the headmaster doing that? He's my teacher sighs and tells me to head off to lunch early. I guess he can't be bothered to deal with me after all the fu this fuss. To be honest, I never get saying anything in the first place. When are we gonna see Carrie again? His waifu. Chatter radiates from the sweats of people in the cafeteria. I've waved my way through. I, yeah. We. I waved my way through these. Standing around, those standing around, and people walking in the opposite direction. The line is long as always. Unlike most schools, the food here is actually quite good. So naturally, it's it's in high demand. I join the queue of students left famished by the morning lessons. Time slows as the line slowly inches forward. All of this for a sandwich? I know, I know, mate. They're lush, aren't they? Made with 100% wa Walsh, Walsh beef. That's what they say anyways. I find it hard to believe they would import that stuff to Japan. Just for these one school. Eventually, I'm the one gazing. I'm the one gazing at what's on offer at the counter. To be honest, that guy was right. The beef here sure is lush. It's quite a uh, prestigious school. I buy the sandwich and stuff it into my bag. This place is quite packed, so I doubt I'd 
find a place to sit down. Just as I'm about to leave, I spot a table that's actually open, empty. Well, almost. I notice someone familiar eating by herself. Oh, it's Carrie again. Why is she sitting by herself? It's that girl from earlier. Carrie, was it? I wonder if I should approach her. I hardly know her, but I kind of want to sit down. It's cold outside. Of course, I'm going to approach her. You know what? I may as well approach her. She's alone after all. I've been in the situation plenty of times this past week. I know how it feels. One step at a time, I make my way over to the table. Her silky braided gentle rest... Oh, her silky braids gently rest by her sides. And unlike before, her braids only move due to her actions. As I draw closer, she takes no a notice of my presence and distract directs her head towards me. She hesitates to speak, but I planned on taking the initiative from the beginning. All right, guys. So, ah, uh, if you guys want to know what they talk about, stay tuned for the next episode. But this is where I'm gonna end this one off. I don't know why I have a smug face, on, a smug face on my uh, look on my face, but I do. <laughs> I don't even have a webcam. If you have had a webcam, gets to be like that guy's an asshole. I don't know why, but he's an asshole. Um, but uh, no, this this visual novel was really good actually. I I like the idea of her. Of him being like, does she have amnesia? Why does she need to know where her school is? Um, I think, in my opinion, I think she's a transfer student. Like, she just transferred or she just, hit her, like, she was sick or something. And she couldn't make it for the first week and she got there. Uh, there's so many possibilities that the story has none. And, um, I don't know. She's alone, which could mean that she has a, a weird past. I don't know. But we don't know. But we will find out while we read this. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on the next Sounds of Her Love. Waifu Carry number one.